Hello, this is Gernge with a quick tip for better texture emission. We'll be adding depth and complexity to make our emissive shaders look more like video billboards, LED walls, or illuminated signs, which I happen to use a lot in my cyberpunk scenes. This information can easily be adapted to other render engines or 3D programs that you might use. Let's jump into our redshift scene with a few signs and begin our work. First, you obviously need some basic image as a starting point. So as far as our material goes, it's quite simple. The standard material with some emission weight and our texture and a color layer. So we can see in this color layer where we will be working with multiple textures, blending modes, and colors. First is some red color to give us this color tint. Our first example will be an inner shadow. Now I like this effect because it can give some depth to the texture. So along the outlines, this makes it look like it's slightly recessed or that there's some thickness, some imperfection to the light coming through this sign. Now we can make this texture quite easily in Photoshop. All right, so we've got our layer and all we really need to do is use our magic wand to select the white pixel on our logo. We can hit Command J to create a new layer. With that layer selected, we can come down to the layer effects, inner shadow, and we'll see that I have some choke and some size selected here. Now you can input what you want, our next example is going to be a line by line grid effect. Now it might be easier to just solo this temporarily. I'm using the redshift tile node and currently I have it set to the square pattern, which will give us a nice uniform grid. In this case, we can scale down the global size a bit. I'd say maybe 0.25 and over to our color layer, we can see that this is Tile is connected to layer three. So if we bring up the layer three mask mount, we'll start to see this effect take hold. And this can be interesting to give this tile effect. I think it can be quite nice. The tile node is handy because it can do a variety of patterns. Another nice pattern is the circle pattern. We can see that this looks more like circular pixels. So if we were to shrink that a bit, now that can be quite interesting. Our last example will be a, another grid texture. If I solo this, we can see that I've used some of the scale parameters to adjust the positioning and the scale of this texture. Coming back to our standard material, we plug this into the layer three we can start to see what this effect is. Now I think this is quite nice. If you want to find an image similar to this, you can Google image search for egg crate grid light texture. This is common on soft boxes or other studio area light fixtures. And I think it's imperfections and some gradient effects are quite nice. And that will cover everything for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching it. I'm going to be making more of these in the future, so please stay tuned.